Sup bros, welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and today's lesson is how to be a white male on the internet. Now I thought it would be appropriate to do today's lesson from beautiful New Jersey, the Garden State, home of rock legend Bruce Springsteen and pie-eating champion Chris Christie. Now there's a lot of people on the internet that have to deal with being white and male, and that's not always an easy thing, I should know. That's why I've created some helpful tips that we're going to utilize on today's videos to hopefully transcend the sometimes negative stereotype that just seems to follow us around. I do have to mention that today's lesson is brought to you by Ed Hardy. Ed Hardy, hats now available in blue. So I've got today's first video queued up, and uh, play. Yo, dude. License and registration? How you doing? Yeah, I know the drill, man. Excuse me? You want a landmark? License? Yeah, let's get some loggers, baby. Spread your legs. What are you doing, man? Relax. Nah, it's pretty tight, you know, I got my boys. I didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, do. I got my boys. You're not packing any Tech Nines in there, are you? No, no, sir. How's your sister doing? Yo, can you bring the Ed Hardy Tiger shirt over? I left it at your place. This is a citation for excessive lane change. All right, cool. Thanks, bro. All right, peace. All right, well, I think I'm ready to leave my comment. Wow, I've never had any of these problems. Probably because my cousin is a cop and gives me these get out of jail free cards every Christmas. I LOL'd when that guy got tased though, so thanks for that. Cool vid, bros. And don't forget to check out Ed Hardy's new spring collection called Sleeveless Red Bull Tribal Tattoo. Keep rocking and come check me out spinning fresh dubstep at Carolina Blues in Mullica Hill, New Jersey this Friday. Get her done. Cheers, mate. Thumbs up if you play Minecraft. And post. You see how much information I just let loose there? That was fantastic. Now the next one that we're going to watch is going to be a little bit harder to comment on as a white male on the internet. So we're going to have to really pay attention to it. It's called How I Stay Above the Influence by Ricky Drumstiff. And play. Hey guys, Ricky here. All right, so for this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I have personally dealt with difficult situations and have decided to live above the influence of negative pressures. Throughout life, in high school especially, I know from personal experience, peer pressure and difficult situations are coming at you from all different angles, right, all the time, sometimes even on a daily basis. In my opinion, the best way to deal with all those difficult situations and peer pressure is to surround yourself with the right people. As cheesy as it sounds, who your friends are affect who you are. And if you surround yourself with negative pressures all the time, eventually, in one way or another, you're going to give in to those pressures and not stay true to yourself. Uh, I've decided to share my experiences as a part of the Unwasted Weekend Challenge from Above the Influence. Fucking... As you probably know, living above the influence is all about staying true to who you are and standing up to negative pressures. So now I want to hear your story. I know a lot of you are teenagers and are dealing with this stuff right now. Or maybe you've been in these shoes and want to share what it was like. But either way, I want to hear about it. Because when you share your story, you're not just sharing it with me. You're sharing it with everyone else on here who might be dealing with these pressures and might need a little extra support and want to know they're not on their own. <laughs> Can't wait to hear your stories. Peace out, guys. Well, I think I'm ready to make my post. Yo, you're a tight drummer, but you must think I'm fucking stupid to say you don't get hammered before every show. First of all, I'm pretty sure I sold you weed last week. I remember that jean jacket you're wearing at O. Oh, Colin, oh, two, and thinking, fuck, this guy might be a cop. Furthermore, you're a fucking drummer, and the drummer has two jobs. Get fucked up and drum. That's science, bitch. The only thing sobering about this video is it reminded me that NWO has created a false flag nation. Chemtrails. And post. <laughs> All right. Now that's going to get the party started. Now I want to switch tracks for a second and talk about something. You guys have been leaving me a lot of negative feedback for using my Macintosh laptop to post these comments. So... Hopefully, nobody feels left out now. So let's get to our next video, which we're going to comment on as a white man on the internet. Ugh. Ugh. Man test pepper spray neutralizer. And plark. Okay, get it all over you as much as you can. Get it all over you. Now spray your face. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Not much. I heard you had a bruise. <laughs> so tough, Hit me. <laughs> Uh, I got this too. What's this for? You know, man, fuck the police, that's why. All right. All right, dude, thanks a lot. Good work. Yeah. Help! I can't breathe. You want me to call 911? No! All right, well, I think you know what time it is. 
Ha ha ha, fucking LOL. Oh my God, that dude got fucked up. This made my day. I was so bored and I was like, OMG, I'm just gonna die if nothing cool happens. Then I found this video. He was all like, oh fuck, I can't breathe. I'm gonna bring this stuff to the next Occupy protest and drink it so I get to piss on all those stupid hippies faces when the cops, note, heroes, mace the fuck out of them. Can't wait to show this to my snowboarding buddies. Anyway, neutralize these nuts, bitch. And POTS! You see how I made sure to explain exactly what parts of the video I enjoyed using both direct quotes and paraphrases? That's what's gonna help this comment garner some real thumbs up from the YouTube community. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, at Commenticate. I'm always tweeting something, so you don't wanna miss it. And POST! Alright, as always, I'm gonna leave you off with the comment quiz. Would you tell YouTube celebrity, the amazing atheist, to A, keep expressing his opinions, B, perhaps decrease the length of his videos, C, realize that an individual and unique God exists within each of our hearts, and we don't need to follow any single written doctrine to acknowledge our relationship with this higher power, or D, choo-choo, all aboard the cock train, penis jizz stream, penis jizz stream, slightly smaller penis jizz stream, the smallest penis jizz stream, good night.